everyone i want to thank you so much for coming back to my channel today if today is your first time i do want to welcome you on today's episode we'll be making bean stew um this stew is very very simple to make um if you are interested in learning how to do it please stay tuned and i'll take you step by step um i'll quickly go through the ingredients which we are going to use here i have the beans i have already cooked it um when cooking your beans, make sure that you add a little bit of salt to your taste before you start the stew. Let me go ahead and introduce the remaining of the ingredients. Please stay tuned. So making our bean stew, we are going to need our diced tomatoes. We have some fresh diced tomatoes here. Sliced onions. I'm going to use a canned fish. This is my canned tomatoes, tomato paste. And here I have um, red Kenyan pepper, powdered red Kenyan pepper. And I'll need my seasoning as well. So please stay tuned as I take it step by step, okay? Should you have any questions, um, please don't forget to leave me comments down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, I want to thank you so much for coming by today. May God richly bless you. Remember, life without Jesus Christ is lifeless. Till next time, bye-bye. Some people tend to use oil, others tend to use palm oil. For me, I will use my palm oil, okay? I use about one cup of palm oil for this recipe. Let's go ahead and pour that. You can go ahead and pour our sliced onions in there. Now let's go ahead and pour our seasoning. And give it a stir. Let's add our grounded Kenyan pepper. Give that a stir as well. Now let's have it cook for about five minutes and then we'll come back and pour in our additional ingredients. Now let's add our fresh diced tomatoes. And the tomato paste and simply give it a stir so what we can do now is to pour the water on our canned fish and then give it a stir as well I'm going to add a little bit of my curry powder in my stew. It gives it flavor and it makes it smell very, very good. Okay. Let's have it cook for an additional 10 minutes and then we'll come back and pour in our fish and our beans and then we are good to go. Please stay tuned as we do that. It's time for us to add our canned fish. We 
can break it into pieces or you can leave it in there in chunks. It depends on what you want to do. I'll break mine into pieces. Let's have it cook for an additional 5 minutes and then we'll come in and pour our last ingredient which will be the beans. want to make sure that the amount of salt in the stew and the amount of beans is balanced it's not too much of it so after you have added in your beans and stir it and tasted it and you feel like the salt is enough leave it like that if you feel like you need a little bit of a little bit more of salt then you can go ahead and add a little bit more so what I'm gonna do first is to taste it looks like mine need just a little bit of salt. You don't want your bean stew to be too salty. So make sure you do that. Test it before you add an additional salt. Now we have a perfect delicious bean stew. So let's have it cook for an ad additional 15 minutes and our bean stew will be ready. Please stay tuned as we do that. So while the bean stew is cooking, let me go ahead and show you how I cut my plantain. This is our ripe plantain. Typically it goes well with the bean stew. So how after taking off or peeling off the cover from the plantain, you just cut it into slices. And then after cutting it, I'm just going to sprinkle about a tablespoon of salt or salt to your taste and then start frying them. So let me show you how I peel it. I peel it from the bottom to the top gently. Be very careful with your fingers. Just like that. Then I use the back of the knife to kind of take off all the excess um, stuff on the plantain that I don't like. And then start cutting it into slices, okay, just like that. If you have any questions, please leave them down below for me, and I'll get back to you as soon so as possible. What we are going to do is to sprinkle a little bit of salt on this sliced plantain. Make sure that the salt has evenly distributed all over the right plantain, okay? Make sure you taste it to make sure that it's not too much of salt. Okay. And then we are getting ready to fry it in just a second. So now we can start frying our plantain. Now we can go ahead and scoop them out of the oil. As you can see, it's golden brownish. So this tells us that the ripe plantain is cooked, okay? Hi everyone, so our bean stew and fried ripe plantain is ready. I do want to thank you so much for coming by today and staying tuned. I hope you were able to learn how to make this delicious recipe. If you have a question, please leave it down below for me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
Till next time, may God be true bless you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.